My name is Mark Swain, author of Banking 2020, and I'm pleased to release it here at Money 2020 in Singapore. And what the book does, it looks at the $2 trillion global commercial banking market, looks at the challenges, looks at where the growth is, and looks at where the future is going. So it's an insightful book about the whole world of global commercial banking. Some of the highlights that people will get from the book are really getting a deep appreciation of the global challenges in commercial banking, particularly those facing incumbent banks. But they will also find ways to grow their businesses in terms of sales strategies for the big institutional companies, but also new ways of thinking for the fintech smaller enterprises. The other main insight that people will get from the book are competitive strategies of major players in all parts of the world. So there is a competitive analysis section that looks at South America, India, China, Asia, the Middle East and Australia, which is my home market. Well, what's really different about Banking 2020 is it brings together everything that is going on in the globe right now. And what I found talking to many banks and many fintechs is Everything is just moving so fast, it's difficult for people to just keep up. So I've really written this book so people can just have a snapshot of everything that is going on at the moment to get a great appreciation of Banking 2020 and beyond. There are a lot of opportunities in Australia and Australia are taking learnings from Asia where I am today, but also from the UK and other fast growth fintech markets. Asia has just launched a new payments platform just in the last year, which is a 24-7-365 system. And they're also bringing in open banking later this year, 2019. And that will open some fantastic opportunities, not just for Australian consumers, but for new Australian fintech businesses. And those fintech businesses will now have access to data that the banks previously held and they will be able to build new customer value propositions and businesses on the back of that data. So it's a really interesting and exciting time for Australian fintech and Australian banking as we move to Banking 2020 and beyond.